Hey everyone, we're here today going to take a look at the Moodsley remote controller. Now this is completely separate, it's sold separately from the Moodsley drone. So this is the controller that they sell. It's about $100 on Amazon and I just got it in the mail. This is the box it comes in and so you can see it's uh, nothing like the drone in terms of packaging but it does uh, say remote controller on it. Okay, so let's take a look in here. So let's open it up. So first look, we got some bubble wrap here. All right. Okay. So this looks like the smartphone grip, as you can see. You put this on top of the drone. All right. So we got our our smartphone grip, and we have the controller itself right here. Oh, hey. Okay, so it's got a nice feel to it. It's got a nice slick feel, nice and smooth, and it doesn't doesn't feel like cheap plastic. That's good. All right. So it looks like we we have our on/off button. Uh, I'll have to read up on what these buttons do. Right here, you can screw screw in So we screw that into the controller. Okay, so it seems like it's adjustable. So if you need to, whatever angle you want to put it at, you just adjust it. All right, so I'll do that. Yeah, perfect. All right, so now we would be putting our smartphone here, connecting it. Let's see if we can turn it on and see anything. Okay, so when you first turn it on, you get that dragonfly again. And it's looking for the drone. Alright, so the first time you get this, you do have to sync it to the Moosely drone. However, you cannot have both the controller and the watch synced at the same time. Okay, so it seems like... So right now it says disconnected, it's, it's showing some some stuff here, it looks like the, the battery, uh, the drone's disconnected so it doesn't have that. Uh, it does not seem to be a touch screen at all. all right, and you got your left joystick, this will be for, for altitude and for left right panning. You got on and off. So this does look pretty nice. It has a nice finish here. Feels feels really good in the hands, like it's like it's an Xbox controller. Nice and big and bulky. Got left, right, front, front, back, and then turn left, right, up, down. Okay, so it seems with so this so we have the up arrow right here. That's takeoff. We have the down arrow here. That is land. Also, if you use, you can use this button for return to home, so it'll return to where it took off from. With the up arrow, you're able to use the circle mode, which is also available on the watch. But it doesn't seem like there is a panorama mode, nor does it seem like there is a follow me mode. So it seems like using the controller, those two options are not available. So the manual says that these two scrollers on the sides or on the seems like these two scrollers on the top are used for controlling the gimbal while you're flying although there is more there's two of these sliders so I'm not exactly sure what they're used for I mean it's one down it's one up I'm not quite sure until I test it out all right so now that we just opened it, I'm going to go ahead and test it out, see how this thing works on the drone, and see how well it flies. Okay, but it's nice. You got takeoff, hover, land, circle mode, and just back to hover, and also return back to home. Okay, on off, we got a screen here here that shows you the different stats of the drone. Okay, okay so bottom right start. Mm -hmm. Let go. Mm -hmm. 
goes on a little bit, power, power us a little bit more, hit up. You can also hit take off, and it will hover. So with my hands off, hands are off, and it's just hovering in place. Nothing is happening. Okay, so now I'm going to hit forward, and it's going to go forward. Okay, and it's going pretty far. Okay, and I'm going to stop it. Right, I'm going to have it go up farther. So the range is pretty good. Right now it's 55 meters away from me. At a dis and the height is 16 meters. Dude, but look at this. Yeah. You can have it go real high. That's 30 meters right now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to spin it around. Mm -hmm. So when you go to the right, it will start turning. Mm -hmm. You do it more, it'll start turning a lot faster. Mm -hmm. And then you let go and it'll hover. And you can go the, the opposite way. Mm -hmm. This is better than the watch because with the watch, you can only hover one, you can only rotate one way. So overall, I think if you were going to get the Moods Elite drone, I think that this controller is a must-have. The controller feels really nice in the hand. It has a 24-hour battery life, although it says it takes about 6 hours to charge, but it's used via US, micro USB, so it's very convenient. Everyone has a micro USB nowadays. But the way this controller controls the drone is great now it did get disconnected after being about 85 meters away but i was still able to control the drone even though it said disconnected on the controller but the ease of flying for this thing is once you take your hands off it hovers in the air and you don't have to deal with anything the only thing that you don't get is the follow me feature that is taken away because of the, the the watch is not no longer there but you get so much more control and unless you're having like a dirt bike race or you want it to follow your car or something like that you really don't need the follow me function so i really think that this controller it it really makes the drone go up a whole nother level the ease of control I never felt once like I was going to hit a tree or anything the only the other thing about this that's kind of confusing it's it's just there's two controllers for the gimbal um, one works one doesn't and the one that does work is very sensitive so it doesn't it scrolls a very long way you can probably have five or six scrolls going of your finger going from left to right but when you start from the far right and you move just a little bit and it moves the gimbal exactly where you want it to go but once you get past that first rotation the gimbal starts acting weird so i would say this is a great for drone controller to have it's a must purchase if you have the Moosley drone and I just think it's a great controller to add to a great drone